Hello everybody and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 where I did reload to this position and I was considering looking around for maybe a stealthier way to get in but I really do think at this point, also I don't know if I fail this, I'm going to be so sad. Um, I, I kind of think my, I might just take my paladin in and be like, oh yeah, we'll get accepted to go to prison. And then it's one of those things where it's like, you're not... I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. And we'll just knock out everybody. Because, you know what, that seems to be the most direct route, and that's just what I like to do sometimes. Depends on the game. Assassin's Creed is sort of an anomaly for me. I like to be really stealthy in that one. But, um... Yeah, anyway, if anything changes, I'll let you guys know. <laughs> okay, because normally, you know how I did the, um... Oh, you again. I did the... Business? I did the dis the disguise kits. Well, since I didn't do anything and I don't want to waste them, at this point, as I, I'm upset, honestly, that it didn't work because it's like, oh, okay, so this guy has a scanning system and he'll rec a Gortash will scan and recognize my face, right? And he'll be like, oh, yeah, that one's trouble. So I was thinking it was like a facial recognition thing, but apparently it's a divine entity of some sort, that a godlike being that can read your soul. So being disguised doesn't matter at all, which is frustrating because in the actual D&D &D game, you could probably roll to do this deception with the disguise kit, right? Or the, basically the, the polymorph spell. And so, uh, you know, that's what it would have worked in D&D &D as long as you rolled right. Uh, but in this, the game is like, actually, no. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And I have to try to deceive her to get in. Otherwise, it's not, I don't know. It won't let me in? I don't know. Those are some weird options there. So by this point, I was trying to think. I'm like, did we... We had that encounter where Karlak figures out that the the Steel Forge might have a solution to her problem. Because I just saved during the... We were trying to walk through the gate after that, and it kept not working. We kept getting caught and sent back. Consent to Your arrest. peaceful surrender. In we go. I feel like this is just a more direct route. You cannot defeat the brain without that stone. New normal? Wait, what? Oh, is that... I thought that was new nomad. Okay, that makes more sense. New normal. Which is the... You're letting yourself be scanned. What else was I gonna do? Anyway. Alright, I'm gonna right. see if maybe this guy has the... Uh, same puzzles? We'll see. It, madam? Not yet. So we're not gonna leave. Um, but the, the riddles were the same, uh, so it was easy. Um, I'm gonna wait till this guy goes past, and we're gonna walk out and walk pick, and we're just gonna knock everybody out. Let's actually while we're all right. Once again, differently this time though. <gasps> what I'm. Oh wait. God Dang it, I forgot that. This was dumb. Fugitives I didn't have my stuff yet. Oh, uh, dang it. Oh well. We ballin'. Wow, you can do a really, really good healing. Holy moly. Alright, I need to just equip this. And I don't know what numb does, but we're doing it. Movement speed is halved. I mean, I don't want to attack this person, I don't think. Because I... Oh, they're not... Oh, somehow they've been... They're not... Uh, I don't know what I did. Alas. Can't use reactions because I'm slowed. Cool. Wait, she lost wrath? Oh, but she still has icy. Let's maybe fight this guy. He's annoying. Okay, so I don't know if I'll show any of it, but boy howdy. Uh, the fight went pretty wild. I've knocked everybody <laughs> mostly out, but I managed to put her to sleep. But these guys were tough, like, like really strong. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad I... Or do I want to have me do it? Oops. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I hate that that does that. Like, obviously, I don't want to attack my, my friends. <laughs> like, I... 
Mass healing isn't as good, which is unfortunate, but Well, so much for peace. Okay, knocked out temporary. Okay, managed to knock everybody out as far as I can tell. I don't wanna like steal their stuff, but I do wanna search their pockets. Um you the pride of the gate. How do you dismiss stuff anymore? You used to be able to dismiss like your summons and like your area of effect things and I can't find where that is anymore. Cause I was trying to dis dismiss my Moonlight Sonata things, my bo Moonlight Butterflies and I couldn't find it. Played at the ready. And I'd like to dismiss the Cambion. Uh, I do feel like Will would run up needed. and help. Oh wait, but it would be nice. Okay, let's see if we can find a key. I thought she was the captain, but maybe not. I love surprises. No. Nope. Key. I would like to teleport out of here, I think. Keep in pace. At least it's nice to have the option. Oh, prison entrance key. Storage room key. I will just take all of those. Let's see if there's any correspondence. No, okay. First, let's go talk to the lady. Why have we here? Oh, are they? How temporary is temporary? It's too far. You know what I'm saying? You might as well lock the cell, Will. You're too late. Are you... It's over. Are you possessed or something? Uh, maybe I should have had myself speak, because then Will would maybe have a chance to speak. I don't understand what do you mean... Uh, okay, hang on. I know, I said I wouldn't do reloading, but I would rather have him speak. It's weird whenever you do play as them, apparently they don't do their normal voice lines, which I do find a little odd. Like, but I feel like maybe that's, pro that's probably really hard to implement, because it's also like maybe you want to play Will differently, you know what I mean, or whoever. You want to play one of the origin characters not quite how they're portrayed as in the base game. So let's see if me Hello, doing I've, the talking... So that's progress. Do I have, What's do I have the key? Here? Can I not? Is she like overburdened? Weird. Uh, she's not actually overburdened, which does remind me. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot to do all of this, which is going to be just the worst. Okay, I think I'm just under unencumbered now. Carlag is probably so close. We are going to do a short rest because that was rough. Um, and I will save again, because I don't want to do inventory stuff again. I pulled out this dead rat to see if I could talk to it. I can't. Um, but I don't know. I guess I can't just, like, pick it back. Oh, I can't. I don't know. Well, that was weird. Um. But let's, let's go in. Does. And see. You might as well lock the cell. You're too late. It's over. By a verse. Yeah, okay. There we go. Counselor, what happened to you? The Steel Watch happened. I came seeking allies to our cause. Watchers spotted me, dragged me to Alder Raven Guard's oh. husk, empty as a stair. Your father's a tadpole's puppet, Will. Nothing I think more. I was too late. He spoke in accusations. Apostasy. Conspiracy. Sedition. I'll be executed in five dawns. You might have unlocked my cell. But there's no escape. That's in place. you, though. The hell's with yeah. that. Nothing is over. Not while I still draw breath. 
Yeah, I was going to say, like, I get it. She's She feels like the cause is lost because Ravenguard is potentially gone, which he might be. Um, which would be the punishment for me choosing to not interfere. or some, There was something that I did in Moonrise where it was like I kind of had to choose. Um, and it did seem like I might lose Ravenguard because of that. I'm breaking you out. Baldur's Gate needs you. Ravenguard needs you. If nothing else, Will needs your help, you know? If we need to put Will... Oh, nice. Uh, I don't know if people would accept him necessarily with the tiefling horns, but... They're not even tiefling horns, they're demon horns. When the people need a miracle, you cannot wait for the gods to answer. Father's words. Indeed. To think I don't well, to have him, him say that to her too. No sulking. I know what to do, and I can only do it with the help of the blade. To have Ravenguard tell her Lead stuff. Lead me from my cell. Escort me out of Worms Rock. I'll seek out my connections. When the city streets shatter, you'll want their blades. Yeah, no, she'll be very useful. But I, I get it, right? Like Ravenguard himself told her, like you know, like not only did she see a good friend of hers become a husk. Um, she, he told her himself, like, you're a traitor, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's so rough. She's dedicated her life, essentially, to him and his cause of righteousness, you know? To have that be shown to her would be, that would be foundation-shaking, you know? But no, we talk her out of it. Well done. Lead the way. Yeah, no, we Gucci. I did the, uh, you're not, I'm not trapped in here with you. You're trapped in here with me. Did I? I don't think I read that. No, I need to get Something from this guy. Uh, oh, and I should read it just in case. Listen, I mean no ill will upon uh, all of you. Bucket. Let's see. Anything? I don't know how to get rid of the candy. Mm, I feel like whoever is in here probably isn't a bad person if they're in jail because of what's his name. What's up for discussion? Gortash. What do you want? Oh, you're, are you blind? Help you escape if I can. I don't need to escape. I've got food, water, privacy, and I mean to keep yeah, it Yeah, but not way. dignity or clothes or medical anything. What if Will Shop speaks to you? Let's do the fur. What do oh, you he wouldn't want? be able to recognize Will because he's blind. Not your attitude? You're the one pestering old men in cages. Now scram with your sour puss. You're disturbing my sitting time. Interesting. Let's see, actually. You are a human, at least, uh, apparently. Can't Although maybe doppelgangers, I wouldn't know if they were a doppelganger until... They decide to let me know. You know what I mean? Light on my feet. I'd like to think I would be able to tell, but here we go. Or that I would be able to examine and figure it out, but potentially oh. not. Let's see any a uh, soap bar? Oh yeah, soap bar. Soap bar. Pick up consume. You can. I saw in the uh, in the what do you call it? the patch notes that they're like they're like oh we've made it so you can use soap properly and in parentheses it was like we noticed far too many teeth bites you know or something something to that effect where it's like people were eating soap but it's it's like maybe i could see somebody being like you know oh if i consume does that mean use it and i will use soap but i think they're making it clearer in patch seven how to use soap um anyway soap heck yeah i haven't seen soap this whole time i wonder if that's a new thing that they're adding because people really want to be able to clean themselves off. 
What is up here, also? While we are in here. Oh, snap. We could have been sneaky. Alright, there shouldn't be any more guards. I think we should be good on the guard front. Also, can that guy just like, t I want to explore around in here. Oh, did I see? Investigate the suspicious toys. I swear I saw like the nether stone in here, but I think that might have been a glitch. Because the emperor was like, well, what are you doing? We need the nether stone. And I'm like, what do you mean? I just got thrown into prison. Like, I don't know what you mean by that. I think maybe I went too far into the game without doing something else I was supposed to do, like technically. Like the map was like, ah, you know, and and the, like so everything was like, oh no. Yeah, everyone was being scanned by steel watchers, and refugees are not allowed in. So I'm like thinking, oh maybe I can. Also, I don't know where that guy's gonna teleport me now that I think about it. He's gonna teleport me outside of Baldur's Gate or inside Baldur's Gate. Also, if there's steel watchers everywhere, like I really wish disguise like person would work, because freaking how else am I supposed to wander the city? Also, um, it would be better if we could just all teleport out, because then that would be the safest for her, you know? Storage room. I mean, I was like, what? Anybody in here? Should have looked first. What's inside? Yeah, well, you guys imprisoned me, so I'm going to maybe take stuff. Is that the Cambian making noises? can't walk the streets with a cambion. We just can't. Well, I tried to look up how to dismiss Will's cambion, and people were like, man, I wish I could get rid of Will, and I'm like, what? <laughs> I assume that people are just barely being racist, or they're just mad that he's a nice guy, and they don't like having nice guys in their campaigns. I know there's more to Will than meets the eye, but, like, initially there's nothing to hate about Will, except for if you feel, like, you know, incompetent in comparison. You know what I mean? If you feel lacking in comparison. I don't see like any walls that look breakable or anything. There's no On secrets. Way. No secrets. Alright, well, um, okay. Well, that was thrilling. Uh, yeah, let's see if we can teleport out. We shall speak it at the most promising hour. But what? So I should have not. We shall speak it. Oh, so I should have talked to the skull after. Well, that's like so metagaming. Why wouldn't you talk to the you know the, the talking skull? And all you, you didn't say, it didn't say, no, I don't want to be teleported. It just said, not yet. <sighs> well, I guess we're doing this hard way. Is there... This is the city. Out here, so we should just be able to walk right out of the city. I walked into every room, so I don't know of any, like... Can I pick him up? Can I bring him with me? I don't know of any, like, sneaksy ways. Can't throw too heavy. It's 250. Wow. Ooh, we make splashes in the blood. I didn't know we did that. Oh, you dismissed the summon. I see, okay. Oh. I looked it up again. At least things are Or just like how to dismiss a summon in general. Hmm. Alright, well. We shall um just go through the front door again as per usual, I guess. Better not be cursed. I did my best to look around. 
Use the prison entrance key. Oh, somebody's sleeping. Um, I don't know if this will work. Ooh, they've made it easier for you to see the shadows, I think. Let's just sneak out. I can't believe that guard didn't wake up prison log. Okay, I'm gonna... My oh all my hands slipped. <laughs> Record of prisoners charged for the people of Baldur's Gate. Let no prisoner be released from the cell without their explicit consent. Ear spoon, indecent exposure, absolved and released with prejudice on orders of Lord. Of course he was. Auto ought, drunken and disorderly conduct again. Council of Forex, treason, and sedition, incitement of discontent. Was it in? Isn't it, is it in Skyrim? Where it's like you are, you you spread disease, discontent, and blah blah blah, something like that, and it's like a constant refrain that they say, and you're like, uh huh. <laughs> of course, Lord Gortash lets out the guy who did indecent ex exposure. They're probably pals. Well, hopefully, I can just walk out the front door. And nobody will be any the wiser. I'm sure there's no guards outside the front. Lord Gortash has been expecting your arrival. Please <laughs> hold a moment. The Watcher's presence fades, but another takes its place. Confident, yeah, well, dominant. Come on. You're fading in and out. My most esteemed guest, we meet at No, we last. don't. You're in a machine. You're talking. I am Lord Enver Gortash. You are the prison bearer. Slayer of the dread General Catherine. Yeah, Thor. you guys could have taken I my prison. To Baldur's Gate, my city. Uh, I'm going to find you, and I'm going to kill you. I admire your audacity, but it'll be the death of you. Catherine had an army of corpses and a crumbling tower. I have a city and an army of steel. It will be better for us both to resolve our differences amicably. And I have the perfect venue for a face-to-face -face meeting. Oh, no. Allow me to formally invite you to my inauguration. Make your way to the ceremonial hall. Um. I'm confused. So there is definitely dissent also in the fist ranks. Because they don't want to be replaced. Right? All we can do is be patient. Better. I almost believed you this time. So these people have qualms to bring with the the Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the whole thing of like like machinery replacing humans, so their fists are having a hard time with that. Which is very understandable. Uh, what was I trying to do? Oh, I feel like I may have, like, gone... Too far? Like, by getting arrested, I, like, jumped ahead in the story? Kind of? And that's why the Emperor was like, oh, no. I mean, do we have to go right now? Because I don't want to. Like, I have so many other things to do in Baldur's Gate. I did not want to... I do wonder, though, if I had, like, done five sleeps while in the city, if Floric would have died, you know? If she would have been executed. But we have so much to do, and, um... I... I don't want to go... I feel like this is... I mean, he does have his own, he has his stone. But this was too soon, you know? Men, women, children, all barred from entry. What? A damn trust. Oh, in the city? A decade ago, Baldur's Gate would have welcomed any and every That's what I thought. That's what I thought they would. Who would take in these souls, if not the Jewel of Baldurin? Is a new policy then? Must be Gortash's doing. 
As long as Gortash is in charge, they'll be left shivering at the gates. All part of the plan, of course. Step one, create an army and order ah. to march on the city. Step two, shut the gates in the name of security. Step three, bask in the applause. Gortash hasn't made Baldur's Gate safe. He's made it a prison. And when his army breaks through, the people will have nowhere to run. To make this city a safe haven, we'll need to bathe Gortash and his allies in their own blood. That's pretty, pretty intense. Um, I mean, it is true. I don't know why the Emperor would have lied. Could it be true, Doug Stam do still remain an ally with the Emperor? Mind flayers are like devils. They just sport tentacles rather than wings. Clever, manipulative, exploitative. The Emperor says he's a friend. I think we'd be fools to believe him. And maybe it's true. Maybe Stelmane allied with a mind flayer and subjected the city to their political she will. She looks into what? Or maybe he made an offer she couldn't refuse. Is that what happened to you? That's what happened to Will. Did you know Stelmane very well back in the day? I met her twice. The first time I was a boy of seven or eight at a banquet in the Flaming Fist's honor. One look and I was smitten. Aww. Chestnut hair that flowed behind her like willow fronds as she floated from one room to the next as if carried by clouds. Childhood crush. The second time, Stelmane was different. Even with the aid of a cane, each step she took was a struggle. Every word she spoke took great physical effort. Oh. A stroke victim, I asked father later. No, he said. A stroke survivor. You sense uncertainty in Will's voice. Yeah. He questions his father's explanation. It does sound like something his dad would say. I sense there's something more to this story. Oh yeah, I'm like, I'm like, Gail. Gail, help me out. <laughs> <gasps> okay, we re-roll on these. Reroll. Okay, woo! Something's always new. I wonder if it's the Mind at Flayer. Stelmane didn't seem to look at us, but through us. But that second time, her gaze never left me. It was steel, sharp and unyielding. It could just be my imagination. But I always felt that it was more than a stroke that had changed her. What, though? I couldn't say. Uh, an allyship with a Mind Flayer, but apparently... The first time through, she was aloof, and the second time through, she was more sharp, even post-stroke? I mean, people can make a really great recovery after strokes, but they're not necessarily on their A-game mentally, you know what I mean? Like, like S, I guess like S-plus, maybe. You'd be on your A-game, maybe, but not like as sharp as you once were. Um... Any idea who could be behind the killing? Or, I don't know, if Stelmane was suffering, maybe death was a blessing? But she wasn't, I don't know. Nonsense. Stelmane was no less worthy of life Ooh, success sick response. she was disabled. Sick response. Her death is no blessing. It is a calculated cruelty. Think about it. My father was tadpole. Stelmane is dead. The people are frightened and the council's in disarray. To exert control, he must first sow chaos. A tyrant strategy, as father would say. These murders aren't random. No, they are. Someone powerful is guiding the killer's hand, and the city is made weak. That was definitely a dumb thing to say, especially in retrospect, where it's like, oh, she was so like obvious. Like that's what I said. I was like, she's obviously. I mean, she maybe was physically suffering, but her mind seemed sharp, you know. So like, obviously, she didn't want to die, and like that was a really good comeback. Honestly, that makes me feel like, ooh, like icky inside that I even like said that. Um, but, um, also, like, I, I knew it obviously wasn't, like, you know, oh, it was really dumb because I knew she, she's been murdered, right? And I almost asked that question, who do you think killed her? But I was curious if that response where it's like, oh, maybe if she died, it was a mercy. Um, I wasn't sure if that was, like, an extension of my persuasion role. I wasn't sure if that was, like, something that was extra from the conversation that would give me more information because sometimes this game has like really i don't i don't like a lot of the player like i it's as well documented i don't like a lot of the 
player choice dialogue options. They're somewhat vague sometimes or somewhat hard to understand what the actual intent is behind them. And a lot of them just seem to be mean or dumb. And even like I for I saw for patch seven they're having or like they're like making these all new endings for like the evil like evil endings. And I'm like, like Larian is like really cool and they've done a lot of really cool things, but like they really seem to be pushing the evil thing and I'm like, why can't we do g good things too, you know? And I think that was a thing, like, they introduced, like, the more evil, air quotes, companions first in the beta. And I heard, I thought I read somewhere, I heard somebody say that, like, um, that Larian was surprised. I think they were going for more of, like, yeah, you can be a murder hobo in this game. But they were surprised at the amount of people who just want to, like, be nice and, like, save everyone and, like, you know, like just make friends and like have a good time you know and like not be a murder hobo or not be like not using dungeons and dragons as like an outlet to be evil when you don't so you're not actually evil in real life you know or whatever you know like not so you're not actually evil in real life but it's like you can do things in the game that you couldn't do in real life i'm like yeah like saving the world and like saving everybody and making them happy like i can't do that in real life either and that's my fantasy <laughs> is like to save the world and like have everybody be like happy at least as best they can you know there's still complexity and all that stuff but like i don't know i just i don't want to be evil i don't ever want to be evil in these games like it's not fun for me you know my my, <laughs> my fantasy is that like i could just make friends and save the world you know I don't know. So I do feel like they they didn't do a great job with that. I feel like they were definitely pushing being evil and, like, having companions facilitate you be at least dark, you know, be, be morally dark gray, you know. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I want I want everyone to grow flowers and stuff. <laughs> uh, anyway... So hopefully now at this point though I won't be bothered. Never wanted the easy path. Bye. I spoke to a witness who says you entered the house before the fire started. You said that. Oh, right there, bloody uh, What my friend means to say is that the witness must have been mistaken. Sorry, I'm so distracted when there's like several conversations. Oh, classic. I almost believed you. Lord Enver Gortash. Handsome. handsome. Of course he has to say handsome. He watches over the city, seeing everything. Oh, very 1984 of you. Well, tell them what happened. Oh, I wonder if the lock here from the Open Hand Temple murders um, is actually in the Open Hand Temple? I was planning on just looking for the detective, but that seems to have gone away. I don't know. And we still have this. Also, I don't know why. Why? Why are you still here? Go away. Keep focused. We can talk once I'm free. Oh, you want? You want to like? You want to like? Uh, Leave the entire place. Okay. Uh, I am gonna go ahead and call it here. I'm not sure how long this episode is going to be, because there was the fighting took quite a while. Um, but thank you all for joining me. I'm I'm a little confused. I'm hoping I didn't do I didn't like getting thrown into prison wasn't a bad idea because at this point now I'm gonna backtrack through the whole city. I don't know. It feels weird to do it right now, so I don't want to do it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hopefully explore the city. We'll see. Anyway, thank you all for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. First, I want to give a shout out to my Acorn Tier patron. Thank you so much, Fame, for your support. I very much appreciate it. And I want to give an extra special shout out to my Sapling Tier patron, Reese Galito. Thank you so much for your support. I very much appreciate it as well. And I want to give an extra, extra special shout out to Christopher, my Forest Tier patron, who has truly gone above and beyond and has supported me in the channel. And I truly cannot thank you all enough. Um, so thank you all again. And I will see you in the next one.